three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlyles, the Stuyvesants. Tell us everything about them. The ivory towers are about to fall. And when we're done... Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, the partners are all that matter. There's an issue. Of course there is. Olivia's tracked the names mentioned by the Constant, and they're dead ends. How dead? Obituaries for all three have appeared online. Accidental death, heart failure, lung cancer. They're covering their tracks. Faster than I thought. A contingency plan of sorts. The Constant wasn't aware of it. Well, it seems they didn't tell him everything after all. Something this big will leave traces behind. The Constant says to follow the money. Milton Fitzpatrick. The investment bank. It's a key Providence asset. Which you worked for. The director of the New York branch is a Providence operative. It's our best bet as a way in. I'll tell the pilot to turn the plane around. Right, gentlemen. Here's what we've come up with. The partners are transitioning between identities. But everything is so recent, the Milton Fitzpatrick bank records will still be intact. We've confirmed that the partners have active accounts there. However, the bank's records are remotely updated on a frequent basis. We may only have hours before any leads that could get us the new identities of the partners are gone forever. The data we need can be obtained in two ways. The bank's data core can be accessed through the basement vault, but getting inside the vault could be challenging. Alternatively, bank director Athena Savalas, head of security Mateo Perez, and head of accounts Fabian Mann each carry a partial backup drive with the data. We'll need all three drives to get the full data. Now, we cannot risk the partners discovering the data breach. Eliminating the bank's director, Athena Savalas, would sever the last remaining Providence tie to the bank and keep our activities hidden. Okay, one more time. We break into the vault, extract the hard drive rack, and eliminate the director on the way out. We. You. Good luck, 47. Welcome to New York, 47. The Milton Fitzpatrick Bank is open for business, but it seems there's some sort of investigation underway. Expect increased security. Your target, Director Athena Savalas, can be found in her top floor office, overlooking the iconic Teller Hall. Head of security, Mateo Perez, is roaming between the vault area and the Teller Hall, talking to employees. And head of accounts, Fabian Mann, can be found on the investment banker floor and the top floor of the bank, driving the internal investigation. Remember, we need to secure the data from the bank's reinforced vault, or, alternatively, acquire three hard drives carried by the director and her two lieutenants, Mann and Perez. Good luck, 47. All right, so here we go. One of two DLC levels that this game has. This is wrapping up the the story, the game. We are going to track some stories. Yeah, hi. I think Sorry. for the data specifically, we're going to retrieve the the data core. Uh, but in terms of mission stories, I believe we are going to do this one. Yeah, I tried to catch this one's quite fun. Which bathroom is that? Okay, that's deep in there. Which means I'm gonna have to get some sort of a... a different little... outfit here. Is there any way that I can... hmm... distract this cop? No, but I do know where there's an, uh, a pretty good disguise. It, uh, it's a shame to have to leave this one. I, I quite like this outfit for 47. 
Alright, there's a couple people in here that we can uh, distract. If this lady wants to leave, in here there's uh, bank robbers, which we could use to, uh, to our advantage, but we're not going to be doing that. If this lady could please leave... No, that's the wrong person. That's the wrong damn person. You know what? It's okay. Did she turn this off? Okay. So as long as no one comes in here, we should be fine. Security guard will give us some pretty good access, at least for now. Uh, just hope no one comes in. These two missions, uh, specifically the next mission, I'm really not very familiar with. Uh, this one I've played more than the other one, but the other one... Uh, I played for the first time, like, right before I started playing, uh, Hitman, uh, Hitman 3, so I, I really didn't have much experience with it. I've played it a couple times in Hitman 3, but specifically the Hitman 2 version, uh, I'm not too familiar with, so I haven't done, like, everything that there is to do in this specific version of the game and of this level. Where is this dude? He's like right here. Ooh, sorry, Have pal. You heard of eh, you know what? I don't want to drown you. Well, you're you're a guy looking for a job. I mean, yes, it is on Wall Street, and I think that's uh, you know, you have to be some sort of like a lizard person to work on Wall Street, but it, it should be fine. Uh oh. Is this lady going to see this body here? Also, what is in that toilet? Good lord. Okay, good. No one saw that. Well, I guess I could drag him out here. Yeah, just in case. I, I probably have mentioned this before, but I love the detail of the packing peanuts. The packing peanuts just flying out of the... Uh, the drawer there is always so funny to me. I am here for a job oh, interview. Have we talked to everyone? No, I think I saw him go into the bathrooms. He's... Ugh, can you just get away from me? Have you never heard of personal space? There's an entire desk between no, us. I think I saw him go into the bathrooms. He's been there for It's me. I'm here and I'm back. Doesn't sound promising. Yeah, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Let me know when he comes out. Will do. Thanks. Oh, there you are. Feeling better, I hope. Should I let HR know you're ready for the final interview? Yes, please. I feel like a new man. <laughs> I'm ready. Wonderful. Follow me, please. Oh, God. It's right down here. Best of luck in your interview, 47. Let's see where this will lead you to. I'm going to just do a little safety save here. Nervous? Don't worry. You'll do fine. Hello. Uh, this one, like the last one, and the next level, we are not going to, um, do, like, a bonus video for. I think at some point, I'll probably, when I do Hitman 3, go back and, like, replay all my favorite levels in the entire series at some point. Ah, Mr. Thomas. Good to meet you. I'm Kevin, and this is Melissa. We're both with HR, and we will be guiding you through this last test. It's important to stress that there's no pass or fail here. It's merely a standard personality test meant to gauge how you'll fit into our corporate culture. All right. If you're ready, let's kick this off. This is okay? like a nightmare. Okay, so this is a very simple test. All you do is pick a card and tell us what you see there. Now, it's important to point out that there are no right or wrong answers here. It's just to give us a better impression of who you are on a psychological level. Does that make sense? Yes, I'm ready. All right, Mr. Thomas, uh, let's proceed then. If you will, please pick the card that most conjures up the word 
opportunity. This one. All right. Now look at it closely. Take a few moments. Then tell me, do you see an animal or an object? This dude looks like he's about animal. to fall asleep. I see. What kind of animal? A bird. An eagle, perhaps. An eagle. Very interesting. So that one is Forced clearly animal. 47. Anything else? <laughs> Somehow. Feeding on something. Feeding? On what? A carcass. The scene is reflected in a pool of blood flowing from the body. It's a vulture feeding on someone else's kill. That's very graphic, Mr. Thomas. Yes, brutal even. Right. Hmm. Very interesting observation, Mr. Thomas. <sighs> Not what we expected, but, but that's perfectly fine. Let's take the next one, shall we? Pick any of the remaining cards that make you think of execution, please. Again, this one is clearly 47. I'll pick this one. Good choice. Tell me, what is the first thing you see here? Just the very first thing that comes to mind. I see a figure in a large coat. Perspective skewed, as if I'm looking at him from the ground. He's got something in his hands. I... uh... go on. He's on. Dual firearms. Large caliber pistols. I see. What else do you see? He's just finished a job. Perfectly executed. And who is this man? It's me. Very, <laughs> very interesting, Mr. Thomas. Well, that's a very creative interpretation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, I think we've just got time for the last card. Please proceed. Uh, this last card should hopefully make you think of prosperity. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Good. This is an interesting one. What do you see here? Take in the whole image, please, and in as much as like possible, gold. tell me what this like reminds piles you piles of. of gold. Wealth. Hmm. Can you elaborate on that? I see a big pile of money earned performing questionable actions. And how do you feel about that, bending the rules of the game? It's what I do. Very good, Mr. Thomas. Well, I have to say, that was very impressive, Mr. Thomas. With your cutthroat approach and killer instinct, I think you'll fit right in with Milton Fitzpatrick. Wouldn't you say so, Melissa? I couldn't agree more, Kevin. Mr. Thomas, allow me to congratulate you on your new position as an investment banker here at Milton Fitzpatrick. Wonderful Thank you. job I've when always wanted. <laughs> well, aren't you an eager beaver? Well, we expect you to come in tomorrow at 8. Welcome on board, Mr. Thomas. You know what? If you want, feel free to have a look around the bank. You've got clearance all the way to the top. Get to know the place. Just don't go into the CEO's office. We don't want to lose you on your first day. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure you can see yourself out, Mr. Thomas. Have a nice day. Alright, so now we've got clearance basically anywhere we want to go. Uh, so, what I'm going to do most likely is sneak into the CEO's office and murder her in there. Hopefully, without anyone seeing me. Where's that camera? Is anyone around here? This is about to get very tricky. I don't know why all of a sudden now I'm like worried. Okay, well I've been seen by the security camera, so that's that. This whole time I've been getting caught by security camera after security camera, not giving two farts. But now all of a sudden I'm like, I gotta make sure I don't get caught. No. Yeah, I'm gonna want as many throwable items as I can possibly get. The frame rate just took a real dip there. Alright, so where is she? She's still above? Yeah, she's still above me, alright. Is this guy gonna let me- are these guys gonna let me up? If you want to come through this way, I'm going to have to do a quick tactic. So are we just supposed to let anyone fight? Okay, <laughs> hold on a second, guys. Just don't be alarmed that I just went behind there, dropped something, and I'm now coming back up. What do I have in my inventory that's illegal still? What's illegal? Oh, the other gun, of course. Whoa, what is this jester soda? I don't think I ever noticed that before. Just time for my tea Sir, I'm just doing my job. I gotta pat you down. Sorry about that. You know, I just realized 
Clean as the whistle, uh, 47 is very similar to another uh, classic video game character. In fact, I would say almost too similar. Uh, the character in question is, of course, Kirby. You know, think about it. Just like Kirby, 47 sucks up his enemies. Um, you know, takes their... their abilities. So, it's basically they're the same character. I think this is... Hmm. Someone's gonna go check out this Wi-Fi router, right? Alright, safety save. Someone's bound to come in here at some point. It's probably going to be this guy. But I don't know if that guy's gonna give me access into the room that she's actually in. And also, I don't know what my plan is once I get in there. Who's noticing the internet's down? Someone just noticed it. Is it her? Because here's the problem now. Is that there are guys all over in here. Hopefully she comes in here alone to, te to check out the, uh... The Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi access. She is going into a completely different room. I might be able to sneak through here, honestly. Okay, here we go. We're doing okay. There's only one guy. Oh, well, there's a camera, too. Uh oh. Don't you that guy instantly started shooting. Sometimes they give you, like, a little bit of time to to react before things just go bad. Why isn't this working? Oh, bloody hell. But that guy just instantly that was literally the uh the Frank Reynolds, so anyway I just started blasting uh scene. Or can you leave? I'll take these coins to distract, hopefully. Can you leave the room? She's just gonna stand there? Right, here's what's gonna happen. Whoa. Hey. That is Athena Savalis. Oh my god, she's gonna pass banker, right by me. Providence Herald and Bane of the middle class. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Just go, just go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, we gotta keep going. Gotta go get your old costume back, 47. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> I, you know what? At some point, we're gonna need to do a. I've been going fairly well with the the mission stories and stuff like that. You gotta just break free at some point and do just something goofy. Where did I? Um, it's in the bathroom downstairs, from right here. All right, we gotta go get our costume back so we're not hunted anymore. Where was that bathroom? It was, alright, so it's like right over here. And then we're gonna go do the, uh, the vault core, which is, uh, quite fun. I'm compromised. Not anymore, baby. <laughs> Are there mission stories for the... The heist. Okay, so we do need to go get a high security thing, which we can get from downstairs. We don't need to actually do... We don't need to actually follow this, like, 100%. 47, what are you doing? Alright, yeah, we want to go down here. This is an illegal action. We'll, Alright, hold on, just in case. I don't know if the, the security camera is going to differentiate between that or not. Well, that guy did somehow. 
Who saw that? Yeah, it was a security camera. Somehow they saw me do that. that that's what I was worried about. Okay, then. Do it correctly this time. This is probably my favorite part of this level. This is why I've replayed this level, you know, more than the other DLC level. I, I love the idea of just a heist like this. I think it's quite fun. And the way that I do this is always so fucked up. Because basically all we need to do is get this guy. Or uh, just clear out that entire room. Which you can do basically by, uh, like, Mr. Magooing your way through this. Just bungling every single thing. Wait, where's that camera? I should probably get rid of that camera now. Alright, that's one. Oh, perfect. I don't think I remember this being here. No, I don't want to go in at 47. I'll bring this guy. Oh, wait, we got another guy coming out. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Come on out of here. And that'll be most of the people, and then I'll just be able to uh, take out those other guys. I think you can poison this room. This is one of those rooms that you can just poison. But, uh, it's much more fun to do it manually. Just do it yourself. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. What was that? Cabinet? That's probably, like, what? An axe in there? Oh, chloroform flask. Yeah, like I said, you can, you can poison this room, put them all to sleep, but... Uh, I don't think that's... Necessary, exactly. No, please! I can't put anyone else in there right now. Okay. I'm just gonna have to hope that no one comes out here. Is this guy asleep or is he? Oh no, he's gonna actually come out here. Where'd the flask go? Or no, this, the fire extinguisher is what I was looking for. Hey, ah! Alright, and then it's just gonna be as easy as this. Very, very easy. I guess I could have used that, most likely. We're gonna take that. This is the security room. Can I get rid of the tapes? All the times I've been, uh... Caught on film? Yeah, right here. Evidence deleted? What is that? Just another gun. I don't think I need another one. Alright. Save. Actually, the game just auto-saves. That's fine. Now, I think this I don't want any of those people to notice the data this. Core should be behind that large steel door. Alright. Yeah, this is another illegal action, and I don't think any of those people ever really see, like, what's going on there. This is a fun level. This is a cool one to explore. I think there are a couple other good, like, missions in here. So, like I said, Hitman 3, once I'm done with that, I think I might go back and do, like, another... Like, a world of assassination uh, kind of mission, and just do, like, the whole thing. Alright, now I have to save, because I don't have a key card that can uh, turn this off. So we're going to have to be precise here. I think, wait, where I want to be is directly ahead. There's some other, like, kind of cute little things that you can find in here that are, like, I think references to other missions or something. There, there's just, there's some items you can pick up. I'm going for it. I'm just going. And now this, if someone sees you carrying this, I think no matter what disguise you're wearing, um, Good work, it's, it's an illegal action That's just straight up. Secured for now. Careful not to lose it. If anyone sees I'm like dual wielding rank, here. I got the the data core in one hand, and the um, That's the last objective completed. 
Exit the fire extinguisher in the other. Miss Hall will want to have a close look at that data. Alright. Now all we gotta do is get out of here. Which is easier said than done. Right. Where is there a good ed uh, exit? That one, I don't remember why this one's locked. I think I might need to either have a key or a different disguise. I don't remember exactly. Let's just check it out. Because if I have to disguise myself as one of these guys, that's not the worst thing. Missing key. Would one of these guys have the key? We're about to find out. Get him, 47. Good lord. Do any of you have a key? Uh... No. That's okay. We'll find another way out. This one upstairs. Again, this is gonna be kinda... a little tricky here. Because if someone sees us... carrying this data core, we're basically fucked. What is that in my hand? Oh, that's the data core. Come on, dude, you don't have to call it in. Just go check it out. Wait, why is that guy orange? Anyone there? Anyone there? Hello? Oh yeah, they're all fucking pissed now. They are all mad as hell. That's okay. Because we made it out. <laughs> Look at them! <laughs> oh, that's some good shit right there. See, that's a fun level. Um, kind of just winged that one, really. Which, you know, I like playing Hitman like that. I like playing it slow, methodically, and following what the game wants you to do. But I also like just kind of winging it. That was my first good score in a while, too. Olivia has found something interesting. I'll tell you on the way. Where are we going? To paradise, 47. 